Pop squat. Komalachu. Got a track sent in by one of my patrons, Hater Watch. If you would like to become a patron, I recommend it. Uh, you can do that down here. In the description of this video, I have my Cash App, my PayPal information, and my Patreon information. You can join for just $2 a month. If you could also like, subscribe, and share this video, that would be awesome. Uh, I get the feeling this is going to be a good one. This was sent in by Hater Watch, like I said, and Hater Watch sends in awesome music. Uh, we're going to listen to Ryan Hall, and I think I've reacted to something from Ryan Hall, but I don't remember. This is called You Couldn't Love If You Wanted To. Sounds like a song about maybe a really bad ex-girlfriend or something, or partner, I should say. Ryan Hall. Sound is familiar. Ah, anesthesia. Love is like anesthesia. Uh, that's, uh, it seems familiar to me. October of 2023. That's eh, a while ago. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I remember this. Um, track number four on post-teen angst. And um, I must have read about this before, but let's take a, a quick glance. Uh, I want to make sure this is working correctly. Yes. Uh, Ryan Hall. Read more. So let's see. We'll go to the end here. In 2023, Hall released his third LP and first official album, Post Teen Angst, which is what we're going to listen to, which featured a more established sound and more diversified production while still following the realm of pop and hyper pop influences okay i am gonna like this i'm just gonna say that right up front this is gonna be something i am going to like because um i like hyper pop i really like hyper pop so it looks like this came out uh the album came out in april of 2023 uh this is also the fourth track and second single from post teen angst huh all right, let's check this out. We've got uh, the actual video. Thanks again for Hater to Hater Watch for sending this in. Three minutes and two seconds. Ryan Hall, you couldn't love if you wanted to. Let's do it. Wait, Lewis, turn it down, turn it down. I want to hear Ryan. I want to hear Ryan. Can you do it like right in the phone speaker yeah. so you get all like the bass in your voice? No, turn it down, turn it down. The fact that he says so we can hear all the bass in your voice and she has almost no bass in her voice is kind of funny. Uh, I also love the sort of peek behind the curtain of, of getting this made, of making this video or this, this maybe this is actually on the song too. Um, because normally when you hear something like this, it's the final edit and you don't hear the direction from somebody else or the different versions of how they recorded it. So it's kind of cool that he included like those two little bits there when she comes in and says it initially and then he's like no no could you do it this way and then she does it again i that's really cool i like that uh let's back up just a little bit uh i like the first note i heard Ryan. Oh, kind of alt rock feel and all my friends are fiends of vapors Huh. That's kind of interesting. Um, I like that he's basically talking to us directly or thinking to himself and we get the benefit of being able to listen in about what he sees as like what he's doing, what his friends are doing, what his future might hold for him and that he doesn't think he wanted wants to do what they're all doing doesn't want to work a nine to five job doesn't want to sell his soul to make some paper right he wants to create he wants to be somebody who makes music obviously sounds great very very alt rock feel to this to me which surprises me a little bit Loving this. You 
for sure. Couldn't love if you wanted to. You want to see if I'm crying? This time it is so divine. I see. So he's talking to himself here. I thought he was going to be talking to somebody else, but this is clearly him talking to himself, right? Get out of bed. Don't touch the phone. Give yourself reasons to be alone. Sabotage relationships. You couldn't love if you wanted to. So he's, he's talking about himself. I And, and the, this verse that we just heard, I tell myself I'm quite all right. This time of year is so divine. Thunder and melatonin. No, I can't wait till it starts to uh, start snowing because the holidays are better on my own. And it goes like, yeah, they're better on my own. I'm better off alone. I'm incapable of loving the way I should love. I can't maintain a relationship. I sabotage them. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know how that ties into the first verse and like all my friends are doing other things and he just fe he feels like an outcast. He feels maybe a little lost maybe like he just doesn't fit in uh, it's crazy it's a great sounding song i love it change in style and flow and voice and this is great yet i felt so far so what's the point when all i amount to is disappointment i may not doubt you even care you think you love me how does that feel when the only love i give myself is a couple hundred likes put that on my shelf and i wake up to fuck all these small times i gave i hate myself too much you know i hate you okay this reminds me of halo this reminds me of uh was a song by Hale Update Failed? Right? Update Failed by Halog. That, that's what this reminds me of. I'm loving it. Lo absolutely loving this. new favorite going on my playlist going onto my phone downloading this like as soon as we're done recording here uh hater watch nailed it again fantastic track J just absolutely great absolutely great thank you so much i hope you enjoyed that one i hope you go just listen to this music and go listen to more from ryan hall and download his music and give him all sorts of props and make him super famous and it's really good uh please like subscribe and share cash app paypal patreons over here if you want to send me something and uh thanks very much pop squat checking out have yourself a good good day bye bye